y'all just be talking on Steve, I'm not even in tour with folks. What the is wrong with y'all? I've been looking at y'all say that the last. Y'all be listening. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Steve, I'm forever only the family. Y'all ask about me. I'm a 600 boy so I die. All right, so it looks like that wasn't the first time Mimo would get that type of question from fans on his IG Live, and that's because of happenings between Mimo and his homies. Even though Mimo claims he's OTF forever, the situation looks like he got kicked out of the group. There's a story to back that up, and I'll tell you all about it. The point where Bezu came on IG Live to call out Mimo saying he's not even from 600, and that he got his chain snatched, is the time a lot of fans speculated that Mimo is finally out of OTF, because it was really crazy. Bezu wasn't trying to cover up anything. He was calling him out straight and even asked people to tag him. He went as far as calling him live, but Mimo wasn't picking up. Let's look at the situation this way. Homies can't just wake up one day and decide not to be cool with each other anymore for no reason, right? That's exactly what it is. There must have been a problem between the two or within the group, unless he's a bitch. There's no telling what exactly went wrong, but there's a record of events that shows things that have not been going well with Mimo and OTF for a long time. And here's how it started. According to rumors, Lil Durk, who's the founder of OTF, never really liked Mimo from the start. Though, there's no evidence to confirm that Lil Durk didn't like Mimo, and even Mimo never said anything like that to anyone. But a lot of people think it's the truth because of the type of energy Lil Durk gives to Mimo's music. Unlike the rest, Mimo received little to no attention from Lil Durk. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Things like this happen in almost every group. The leader always has his favorite in a group, but that doesn't mean others need to be neglected. That brings us to the question. If Durk doesn't like Mimo, why was he signed to OTF in the first place? Well, according to the news going around, it was the influence of King Von and D-Thing that made Mimo stay in OTF. If that's the case, then you know little mistakes can easily make Dirk get mad at Mimo. And guess what? Mimo made a mistake, or what should I say that was? You'll find out. It's what I can say became the genesis of Mimo's problem in OTF. He simply got his chain snatched by Ops, and we all know what that means. He just embarrassed the whole crew, and Lil Dirk especially. Such can never be a secret, as it's something for the Ops to show off. On no time, TTB Nez showed off a chain on IG Live. A piece is missing. It's a piece missing. It was not just any chain, but an OTF chain. It looked like the general OTF chain at first when you see it from afar before he shows the chain closely. Then it was revealed that the chain wasn't the basic OTF chain. It was a variation with the added 600 Boy Forever. That particular type is the chain that Lil Durk gave to all 600 members that joined OTF. I guess that was because of the beef that happened at a time between 600 and OTF when some of them separated from the gang because of some issues they had with one another. We're not going to go into that. So basically, it narrows the search down to 600 members in OTF. To complicate the issue, an affiliate of Nez that goes by the name Drilla came out to say that the chain belonged to Mimo on his Instagram. Mimo definitely had something to say about that, as he knew what kind of trouble he was getting into. He wrote on his Facebook, it's one thing getting caught lacking, but for a motherfucker to set you up, it's pure snake shit, especially a motherfucker with your same bloodline. They do anything for some clout, and I see the same motherfucker that was just on his dick trying to get down. It show you that they only love you when it's beneficial. That was like Mimo saying that someone in his circle got him set up. Rumors had it that Mimo's cousin took the chain while he was bathing and gave it to the Ops. If the rest of the crew cared to know, then they wouldn't have thought or agreed that he had no chance to protect the chain. But Dirk wasn't having it. He took to his Twitter to say that Mimo isn't part of the gang since he got his chain snatched. You might think that's crazy, but it's just the way it makes them feel when stuff like that happens. Even though Dirk never mentioned Mimo in his post, a lot of us believe that the post was about Mimo since he's the one said to have lost his chain to the Ops at the time. Not long after that, Dirk took down that post. But if he took that down, he couldn't possibly erase the lyrics. In his verse from the song with French Montana titled, Stuck in the Jungle, he raps, You said they stole your chain. You lied. They took it. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's saying he didn't believe Mimo's excuse and story that someone stole his chain while he wasn't looking. Since then, there's been some tweets on Mimo's page that suggested all wasn't going well with him in the group. But soon after he brought those tweets up, he took them down. If all of that wasn't enough, the news about Mimo signing a WAC 100 must have made Lil Durk unhappy. 
Wack 100 is known to be quite close with Takashi, who's got a serious beef with Lil Durk. The beef between 6 ix 9 and Lil Durk was one of the most discussed beefs in the industry throughout the year 2021, and with how much trolling Takashi did of Durk, 6 ix 9 did a lot, from claiming he was a bigger star than Durk to threatening to box him on King Von's grave. Especially when King Von died, Takashi did everything to troll Durk at every chance. At a point, things remained quiet between them, until an interview of Mimo did surface online. Though the news that Mimo was signing with WAC 100 did raise eyebrows because of Takashi's relationship with WAC 100, he did clear every rumor in an interview with Death of the Cloud Chaser. When the host asked him about him having a relationship with WAC 100, he said, Yeah, I'm fucking with him. And when asked about signing with WAC, he said, As long as he don't bring Takashi 6 9 around me, I don't got shit to do with that. I'm a real street nigga before music. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't with none of that police shit, none of that. He cool, if that's how he make his money, that ain't none of my business, you know. And since there's been speculation that he got kicked out of OTF or that he stopped prepping the crew, the host brought forward the question about his relationship with Dirk. He asked if there's any beef between them as fans have speculated. Mimo said, there ain't no beef, that's my brother, that's fan shit, how can I beef with somebody that put me on? That's not the first time Mimo would say that he's forever OTF, no matter what happens. Several times on his IG live, fans asked him the same question and he tells them that he's OTF forever. I guess Mimo is indebted to Lil Durk for putting him on and is thankful for where he is because of him. It's not clear whether Durk took this situation the wrong way or not since the issue resolved itself anyway. That's because Wack didn't eventually sign Mimo. While Wack 100 was live on Clubhouse, there was a discussion and he was asked what he was going to do about Mimo. He said, with who? Man, that nigga right there is bozo number 8. That's shocking and crazy at the same time because Mimo just said something about signing to him and Wax out saying something else entirely. He continued by saying, Nigga talking about he signed to me. Nigga, I'm still waiting on your paperwork. How the fuck he signed to and I ain't got no release papers on you. I don't even know that you're unsigned yet. It turned out Chief Keefe told Wack 100 not to sign Mimo. I don't have the details of what they really told Wack, but you know how Wack 100 is. He doesn't keep words to himself, so he mentioned Chief Keefe in the conversation. He said, Chief Keefe told me not to fuck with him. So I pulled his numbers and the numbers were from a little dirt compilation, right? Then I told the nigga to send me his release papers. Yo, Wack, I told you I don't fold them. Man, look, I don't give a fuck on 5, 6, 8 in them. This ain't no street shit. This is real business. You see what I'm saying? Fuck out of here with that shit. When Mimo heard the news, he wasn't happy with Chief Keefe. When he was on Clubhouse and asked about the situation, he said he would knock Chief Keefe out anywhere he finds him, even if he finds him on the stage. He added that he doesn't care about jail as he would gladly go to jail for hours, so he was able to knock Keefe out. He also said, Motherfuckers gang full of goofies. I'm gonna treat they ass like the ops. There are rumors concerning the issue that he had with Keefe. Many said that became another reason for Lil Durk to distance himself from Mimo. Even though Mimo might not be cool with what he's getting from his crew, he still reps the gang. In March, Mimo got into it with the baby on OTF's defense. There's a serious issue between Youngboy and OTF with Youngboy seriously sending shots at the whole crew, including King Von. It was a serious one that forced some rappers in the industry to pick sides at the time. But the baby was just on the neutral level and had a collaboration with Youngboy. Because of that, Mimo sent a shot at the baby on Twitter, writing, Can't blame the baby. He thought that man was going to save his career. The baby responded to him in a lengthy post on Instagram and really exploded on him writing about how Lil Durk is waving a white flag in his DM. He also mentioned his respect for King Von and said how his collaboration with Youngboy means business alone and nothing else. It seems doing that without the permission of Durk got him angry, though Durk never expressed his anger for all to see. Rumors say what Mimo did made the whole crew turn their backs against him. And that also made Durk allegedly set up Mimo to get his chain snatched by Bazin and others, even though Mimo denied ever getting his chain snatched. Mimo might keep repping OTF, but to Dirk and the rest of the crew, it doesn't seem like Mimo is still one of them. Well, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments section. Hey you, yeah you, did you like the video? Great, we got another one for you that we guarantee you like, and all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click on it fast because this message is self-destruct in 5 seconds.